go to Adobe's downloads page for Photoshop CS2. Log into your Adobe account. If you don't have one, you can create one for free. Click Accept. Download Photoshop CS2 in your preferred language. Launch the setup to install Photoshop. You will find the serial number on the page where you downloaded Photoshop from. Paste with Ctrl V. Open Photoshop. If you don't have a shortcut on your desktop, there should be one in the Windows Start menu. In recent Windows versions Photoshop CS2 is located in this directory. Open the manga page you want to typeset in Photoshop, or just drag it into it. Press Ctrl Alt 0 to zoom the image to actual size. Hold Alt and scroll down to zoom out. Hold Space and the left mouse button to move around. Press D to select the text tool. Not good. The default color mode makes editing harder. Click on Image, Mode and an RGB color. Drag a rectangle over the raw text and try to center it. Open the translation script. Double click and hold to only highlight whole words. This often makes copying easier. Select your preferred font. I recommend Wild Words for most text. Anime Ace is an alternative. Rule of thumb for font size, it should be between 100 and 40% of the size of the Japanese characters. Choose one that can stay mostly consistent and is well readable. Press Ctrl Enter when finished. Press V for the Move tool. Use the arrow keys for fine adjustment. I forgot to set the anti-aliasing, edge smoothing method. Above 11 points, select either sharp or smooth. Below 11 points, select smooth. Be consistent with your choice. Press Ctrl A to select all. Select bold italic for text which seems to be shouted or strongly emphasized. When choosing a font style, go by the outline of the speech bubble first and the Japanese font style second. Not good. The black text touches the black edges. Let's give it an outline. Select the text box either in the Layers window, or by clicking on it with the Text tool. Go to Layer, Layers tile and select Blending Options. Press Ctrl J to copy the selected layer, including its layer style. After all the text has been placed, select all text layers and drag them onto the folder icon. Select the background layer, and make a copy of it. It will become the cleaned, text-free layer. Let's make the blacks black, and the whites white by leveling. Select a section of the image, that's supposed to be black. Now select a section that's supposed to be white. Let's start cleaning. Select the layer above the background. Hide the text layer. Press B to use the brush tool. Right click to change brush size and hardness. Press open square brackets or close square brackets to change brush size on the fly. Hold Alt to use the eyedropper tool on the fly. Press X to swap foreground and background color. 
The brush uses the foreground color. Press M for the marquee tool. Press Alt Delete to fill in the selection with the foreground color. Press Ctrl Delete to fill it in with the background color. Hold Shift to make multiple selections. Some more notes. Use the italic font style for text that is neither normal nor shouted, nervous, troubled, whispered words, etc. Learn to use keyboard shortcuts. Create your own shortcuts for commonly used commands under edit keyboard shortcuts. Before leveling. You may have to strip the image off all color first with shift Control u Save your edit as a PSD file. Then save it as a JPEG or PNG file in a different folder. Generally speaking, JPEG is more efficient for colored images. PNG is more efficient for black and white images. Thank you for watching.